everybody, it's Norma, and I am here with hopefully what is my final luxury candle order, um, at least for the spring and summer. I may, you know, do another one toward the end of the year, but uh, for now, this is it because I am going to be going on a wax band. Um, you know, this is the last weekend our last week of June, next weekend is 4th of July weekend in the United States. And that means semi-annual sales will be over and the stores are going to be loading up with the fall stuff. So I'm going to go on a wax ban. Um, there'll be a couple of exceptions. I am planning a trip to the Yankee Candle Outlet to meet up with one of my admins, April, who lives in Canada. And we've never met in person, so we're... Um, planning a meetup um, at the end of, end of July. So, of course, I'm going to have to buy something then, you know, because why drive all the way to the outlet and not buy anything? Um, except I will be so excited to meet April finally. But other than that, I think I'm ready for a ban. Um, I haven't gone crazy, 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 but I've done enough damage. Um, you know, the Henri Bendel sale at Bath & Body Works was just the most amazing deal because I happen to love those candles. Um, so, but they're not cheap, you know. Um, this morning, you know, Yankee Candle had a, a glitch. It lasted for about five minutes. And they were, the large jars were on sale for like $5. And I didn't bite. I know, I know. I must be sick or something. Um, but all I could think of is all the money I've spent and all the room that I do not have. So I decided not to do that. Um, so I've kind of been focusing my attention this year on higher end candles, smaller that don't take up a lot of storage space, and hopefully give me some bang for my buck. So I've been ordering um, a lot of Veluspa candles. Veluspa, Veluspa, I'm not quite sure how to say it. And some have been hits with me, some have been bombs. Um, my Amber Lumiere, I, that one I really like. I would have liked to have gotten more of it in a larger size, but they were kind of selling out. So it's on my list to um, purchase more in the future, but it just wasn't in the cards right now. Um, my Champagne Rose that I thought I was gonna love. Um, beautiful scent had horrible 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 burn issues even in the large three wick that I've decided that I'm not going to burn it anymore I'm just going to chunk it out and throw the wax in my centerpiece when I'm in the mood for the scent it's such a shame because I mean for a huge candle like that that retails for $65 you would think it would perform better um, I did test out my large three wick in French bourbon vanilla and the first burn of that one went okay so I'm fingers crossed I don't have the burn issues I had with the champagne rose. Um, I did my Japanese plum blossom couldn't smell it so I mean yeah I've had some duds. There was one candle that surprisingly was good and um, I repurchased it which is in this box. Now I just wanted to show you the box because look at this it comes labeled fragile shows glass that could break arrows are up up but this is how the box was sitting on my deck it should have been sitting like this this is what up arrows mean so in case and if you work for the post office UPS FedEx or you know somebody who does please remind them that up means up so I didn't hear any tinkling broken glass so fingers crossed everything arrived safely. So I'm going to unbox this and show you what I got. Well, this is rather interesting, a box inside a box. Um, I did get like a couple of matches, which I don't remember getting matches before. Um, I did place this order from Candles Off Main, and they got that right there. I'm hearing something moving around. Ooh, I hope it's just packing, packing peanuts. Um, so, Obviously, I did get something from Velospa, but I did order from another company, um, so I'm really excited, really excited to, to see what that one is. Okay, let me get this open. Oh no, people! I have a tragedy! Oh, darn it. And it is my crane flower 
This was a new scent that I was so excited to try. Oh, it smells fabulous, but look at that. It's broken. It's broken. Damn it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Man, but I'm upset. It specifically said arrows up. Darn it. But it does smell really beautiful. Um, it's a floral. Oh, but it's really, really beautiful. I really, really like it. And the wax is kind of melted, too. Ugh. But, um, okay, let's move on. Okay, so that was sad about my crane flower. Um, I do love it, though, so I will definitely be getting a large jar of that at some point in my future. Um, I stopped recording to take pictures because there was broken glass everywhere in the box. Even though it was a real tiny little candle, I just ordered the small jar, but it was like this beautiful gold metallic. Oh, um gosh I'm really sorry about that um, but I will I took some pictures so I will email customer service tomorrow and hopefully they'll send me another one and I don't have to send it back um, so I have two candles that arrived intact one is brand new to me um, and one is a reorder so my reorder is the Veluspa Macassar Ebony and Peach the I had gotten this one in the small corte size and it was a black jar with black wax so I'm happy to see that um, in the repackaged version in the large size they did more like a gray mercury glass that's going to be so much prettier and it's got white wax than the black um, my corte actually threw it was light to begin with but toward the end it got strong enough that it was able to fill my bedroom and I decided I really like the scent, even though I'm not a real big, big peach girl. Um, I think having the, the ebony wood in there, because you have a, like a woody peach type of scent, it took it away from being like a real sweet peach, like a peach bellini, which is just too sweet for me. Um, it's not a bakery peach at all. So it's not foodie, it's not bakery, it's not a drink. It's just like a fresh peach with fresh green woody notes to me maybe a little hint of cologne but I really enjoyed it so I decided to go and spring for the big guy and then this is a candle that I've heard about for maybe probably three years now and I've always wanted to try it and never got around to it and this is Capri Blue in the scent Volcano um, and this is it normally comes like in a blue glass jar but I decided to get this because I just like the, the glass if that was really pretty um, and I really wanted to get the large one, but the large was $65. This was $65 as well, but Candles on Main had a 20% off code, so I got 20% off the $65. And I really wanted to get this one in the $65 one too, because I had a feeling I was going to really, really like it. Because um, like I said, I've been wanting to try it for a few years because everyone says it's really good. And you know what? I do really like it, but... It reminds me of something else, and I can't quite place my finger on it. I mean, this is supposed to be fruity, like with grapefruit. I forget all the fruit notes, but grapefruit, you know, citrusy, lemony, that type of thing. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Yankee Candles, World Journeys, Jamaican Rum Punch. That's the first thing that sprung to my mind when I smelled this is Jamaican Rum Punch. I think it's... It's very similar. Um, if you guys are familiar with Yankee, Yankee Candle 2D Fruity, it's along that line. It's a citrusy, fruity type of scent. It's going to be just really nice to be burning right now um, in July because that's kind of what I got going on. So this would be the first one I burn. I'll save this one, you know, maybe for August or September. Not quite sure when I'm going to burn it, but uh, yeah. So I'm really happy with these two for sure. And I really did like my crane flower that arrived broken but it's a beautiful scent it's like a floral it's got a little bit of fruity note to it and it's got a, a hint of perfume it's kind of unique i can't really think of something to compare it to but um i do like it so i will be reordering it like i said again in a large jar once i get my small jar replacement but um, anyway, there you guys have it. That is my tiny little luxury haul. That should be it for now. Fingers crossed. Um, I got to go light a candle. If you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below. And have a blessed day.